Hey, hello there. Let's talk about this Lee coding challenge question power xn. Uh, we want to write a function that can raise the input x to its n's power uh, without using the built-in power function, of course. Uh, so the brute force solution will simply just be multiply this x n times to get the answer. Uh, the runtime complexity for that will be linear with respect to the power 10n. Uh, so we want to do something better than linear time, which usually be logarithmic time. So let's look at the, the first example. 2 to the power of 10 it will be uh, 1024. Uh, if we use the brute force solution, it will be initialize some kind of uh, uh, accumulation variable to hold the products and run a loop for n times and each time you just multiply the accumulator with the input x um, after the loop you get the answer uh, that's effectively adding one every time in the power so it's a linear time solution uh, if we want to reduce the runtime into the log territory instead of adding one each time we're looking at uh, something that's uh, doubling every iteration so that we can uh, bring the total time complexity into logarithm. Um, so here we're looking at the decomposed 10 into 2 plus 8, um, some, some powers of 2. So how, how do we figure out the power here? Uh, if we just uh, look at the binary representation for 10, the power n here, uh, you have a 1 bit in the 8th position, you have a 1 bit in the 2th position. So we can decompose that into 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's this. And the nice thing about this is that uh, uh, now, if we have uh, x to the power of 1, to get to x to the power of 2, we just need to square it, which is just multiply it by itself. If we have uh, x to the power of 4, to get to x up to the power of 8, uh, we just multiply that thing by itself to get to the, uh, get to the next position. So the loop is just going to run for the uh, bit, bit lens for this integer power, uh, power integer. And, um, and uh, we, uh, we run something that's, uh, that's uh, squaring every time. Uh, if, it, if we have a 1 bit in that position, we uh, multiply the accumulator with 2 to the power of uh, that, that bit, uh, the, the integer that the bit, uh, bit position is representing. So, um, yeah, that, so that's uh, a log 2 to the power of n uh, runtime complexity uh, algorithm. Um, the special case here is that uh, uh, we might have the negative powers. And this example is telling us, um, so basically, 2 to the power of uh, negative 2 is, uh, uh, we do the same thing, right? It's equal to 2 to the power of uh, negative 1 multiplied by two so that's e effectively um, two to the power of uh, negative one and then raise that to the power of two so if the power is negative uh, we can uh, just uh, inverse the x and then it becomes the same problem but uh, the power being positive integer numbers uh, so with that handled uh, the rest of the work is basically it enumerating over the bit positions for the power uh, if we do have a one bit uh, we multiply the accumulator by the x to that power uh, so that that's going to be the solution Yeah, so the first thing first, we handle the uh, case when the power is negative. Uh, based on, depends on your language, uh, if, it's, uh, if you are in the typed language, the integer have bit lengths. Uh, you might need to convert n into long because uh, the negative side is uh, it's larger. If if you take the negative, it will, it will overflow. Um, yeah, so so that's that. Uh, but Python don't have that problem. Uh, then we're just gonna do uh, accumulator, which is one in the beginning, and uh, we have this power power of twos. Uh, that's initially uh, just uh, this uh, x. Uh, what we're going to do is to enumerate over the bit positions in n. 
So if the last bit, if the current bit we're looking at uh, in this uh, power term is is one, then uh, we multiply the current uh, power of two to the accumulator. And uh, whether that is the uh, and every iteration we're just going to stop uh, squaring this power term. Uh, and also, because we checked the current bit position in the power, uh, we shifted the power binary representation for the power towards right by one to get rid of the very last bit. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, let's throw in some more examples. 2 to the power of uh, negative 10, uh, ne negative 2 to the power of 10, negative 2 to the power of negative 10. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, it, should, it should be correct. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple question.